Hey everybody, welcome to Hockey Skate Down. Before we get into the video, I just want to say thank you to all my subscribers. If you want to join our hockey team, it's free. Click subscribe, hit the notification bell to all. Thank you all so much, and let's get started. The Devils have won their 13th straight game. Let that sink in. You know, uh, a lot of people were waiting to see what, what would happen with the streak, and the Devils have tied their franchise best with 13 straight wins. So I had to do a video on this. You know, let's talk about the game, let's talk about the stats, and let's talk about some notes. Please stay with me throughout. The New Jersey Devils beat the Edmonton Oilers 5-2 and extend their winning streak to 13 straight games. With this win, they tie their franchise record set in 2001 of 13 straight wins, tied for 7th longest in NHL history with the streak, and with this win, they are first in the Metro, going 16-3-0 with 32 points, and they have an 8-point lead over the Hurricanes and the Islanders, and they are second best in the league behind the Boston Bruins. So, you know, when you're looking at the streak, you, you have to look at what, what the team what the team in 2001 was like and kind of look at what the team is doing now. Uh, with that team in 2001, we knew what we were. We were a really good team. We had our A-line to provide the offense. We had uh, other players like Madden and Pandolfo and uh, Gomez to help out as well. We had, um, you know, our defense. Our defense was cemented with... Uh, Stevens and Niedermeyer, Rafalski, um, White, Danico, Albeline, and then you had Marty and Nett. So we knew what that team was capable of doing back then. They were a really good, well-built team. With this team this year, there were so many question marks heading into the season, especially with the new additions that Tom Fitzgerald made. We didn't know what Vanacek was going to be like on the Devils. We didn't know what Marino was going to be like, what Smith was going to do, what uh, Hall was going to do with that trade with Zaka. And Palat, too. We didn't know what these players were capable of doing with this team. And we're getting contributions from every single player. Even if they're not contributing on the scoreboard, they're doing something. They're making a big hit. They're pushing the play. They're um, coming back on defense. They're helping out defensively. They're able to do something to help this team just be better and win each and every game. And, you know, it's just something that I, I don't think I've seen in a very long time. I haven't seen four lines clicking like this. I haven't seen every single defenseman doing something when they're on the ice. And Vanacek just putting up these <laughs> insane numbers and looking like we found our starting netminder. After two off-seasons of trying to bring in netminders and just seeing what would happen with that. You know, it's just, it's such a magical run this team is doing and I hope they can keep it up. Um, you know, it's just, and especially we're seeing the evolution with the young core. Nico got better. Jack got better. Um, Jesper Bratt has continued his great play from last year. Mercer's heating up. Sharon Govich is playing well. The BMW line is clicking as a unit and playing sensational. Um, Tomas Tatar is having a really great rebound year. Um, you know, it's just we're getting a lot of contributions from every single player on this team, and it's fun to watch. It's fun to watch this team winning, especially what we've been through the past couple of years. You know, seeing a team that... Whenever they lose out on a goal, they'd bow their heads and you'd see them just decimated the rest of the game. It's not the same thing this year. When they see, they, when something bad happens, they turn it right around and they keep playing, playing and battling and trying to win. And they're doing that on a night-to-night -night basis. And it's fun to watch Devils hockey again. So let's talk about this game tonight. So they played the Edmonton Oilers. Uh, Edmonton Oilers had more shots on goal, 30-28. to Scoring chances were in favor of the Devils, 24-20. to Power plays, Edmonton Oilers went one for four. The Devils went one for three. Faceoffs uh, were in favor of the Edmonton Oilers, 29 to 25. And hits were in favor of the Devils, 20 to 18. Looking at the scoring summary, Brett started the Devils off with, with uh, the first goal. Devils led one nothing. Great play by Jack Hughes to gain the zone, kind of fall back a bit. Pass to Nico. Nico with a great pass to Brad, who one timed it in. Devils lead one nothing. Uh, Dry Seidel scored to make it 1 1. Uh, great shot from the side of the net. Uh, great hard low shot. Found its way through Vanacek. The game was tied at 1 at the end of 1. Uh, in the second period is where you saw the, the ice sort of start to tilt for the Devils. Mercer got the Devils back on the board 2 1. Um, it was a miscue by Skinner. And um, Nico quickly made the pass over to. Um, Mercer right in front, who had a wide open net and just banged in the in, in the goal. Devils led 2-1. Severson made it 3-1 and a great play by Hughes. Hughes gained the zone and started skating towards the right. Passed it back to the left to Jesper Bratt. 
Brat made a play to the left side, drawing the defenseman towards him, freeing up some room for the uh, for the onrushing Severson coming in. Severson uh, made a beautiful shot up top and scored to make it 3-1. And that was the way the second period ended. In the third, Ryan Nugent Hopkins scored to make it 3-2. Uh, rebound right in front of the net. Easy tap-in goal. And that's where I was starting to get a little worried. You saw McDavid starting to skate a little bit quicker, get his legs under him. You know, starting to work his magic. You saw what Dreisaitl was uh, was capable of doing. And, um, you know, in a little bit, Tomas Tatar scored to make it 4-2. He batted in a puck that was just, I don't know how he did it. The way he was holding the stick, he was able to just bat the puck in that was kind of fluttering in front of the, of, uh, of the netminder and to make it 4-2. And then Sharon Govich made it 5-2. There was a mistake in the neutral zone. The puck went back up to Sharon Govich. Uh, Sharon Govich had another man on the other side. He could have passed it, but he made a quick uh, play to his forehand and just roofed the shot. So, um, you know, the Devils won the game 5-2. to two. I also liked when Sharon Govich so, uh, scored. You heard the Ozzy going, Sharon. <laughs> I love that. That's the first time I heard it. I don't know if it's an ongoing thing when Sharon Govich scores, but, you know, <laughs> I was laughing when I heard that because it's just an awesome thing, and I hope they continue that. But looking at the, um, the top players of the game, Nico Heischer had three assists. Jack Hughes had two assists. Uh, Jesper Brad had a goal and an assist. Uh, Mercer had a goal and an assist. And Vanacek had 28 saves on 30 shots. Two huge ones on McDavid and Dreisaitl. McDavid was trying to swoop around behind the net and sneak one in. Vanacek stuck out his leg and got it. And that second one was the one that Leon Dreisaitl had kind of like a one-timer on the side of the net. Nine times out of ten, he's putting on the in the back of the net. But Vanacek made a huge save. And uh, was just solid in this game. So, um, Devils win. Hopefully, they can keep the streak alive. And also, I want to send a congratulations to Lindy Ruff. He is fifth in games coached with 1,650 NH games in NHL history. So, congratulations to Lindy Ruff. It went from fire Lindy to sorry Lindy. And, you know, congratulations to him and the coaching staff and what they were able to do to, do to turn around this team and make them be... A huge success everywhere, you know, so the team is on on notice now. A lot of fans are noticing the Devils, so it's just, it's fun. It's fun to watch this ride the Devils are doing, and hopefully they can keep it up. So comment below what you think about this. What do you think about the game? What do you think about the streak? What do you think about anything? <laughs> comment below and let me know. Thank you all for watching. I really appreciate your time. Smash that like button if you haven't done so, and subscribe to the Hockey Skate Down. It's free, and join our hockey team. Thank you all so much. Have a great rest of the day. Have a great night. Take it easy. Stay safe.